Another one for your world-class bone collection. <laughs> Good, you're both here. I was just about to tell Nasher it's time he got rid of these. Nash! No way, not the bones! Oh! There are several well-regarded blogs about Nasher's impressive collection. <coughs> Largest bone ever procured from a Northern Hemisphere takeaway. Mm, Nasha! Obscenely large wishbone doubling as a powerful menace catapult. <laughs> eh, speaks for itself, really. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to start a blog about my garden. But... No buts. This back garden is a bone-free zone. And that's final. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Crisis Treehouse meeting now! <laughs> Operation Bone Transplant is go! We need ideas now! Nash's bones need a new home. We could start a touring xylophone ensemble. <laughs> Anything else? Or sneak them into an everyday domestic setting? <laughs> No, what we need is an all-new bone zone. Somewhere Nasha can access any time of day. Somewhere we can keep an eye on things. Ah, genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> That's the last of them. Nice digging, Nasha. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Dennis, at school on a Saturday? <laughs> Don't tell me you're here for the lecture. Lecture? Putting the fun in quantum physics? Well, actually, Walter, we were uh, up to something I should be reporting to the headmaster. Oh, Dennis, Curly and Pieface. <laughs> Joining us for some extracurricular learning, I see. Uh, Walter. FYI, Dennis, that is no fun in quantum physics. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect Nash's precious bones. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh. 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 I think I need a lie down. Well, anything to keep your bones safe, Nasha. <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> I never thought subatomic particles could be so side-splittingly funny. It was like a comedy club with learning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, ouch. <gasps> what on earth have we got here? Fetch me a paleontologist. Post haste. Spend a bit of quality time with your bones while we're in class, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Uh-oh! Looks like you got company, Nasha! <laughs> and that, I presume, is the dorsal vertebrae? Yes, indeed it is, my boy! A mighty fine specimen! Good show, Dr. Paleo. I'm certainly glad we called a professional. Huh? What is that? That, my boy, is the world's first mutton bovine poultry thorus. I prefer Waltosaurus. Mutton bovine poultry thorus. I like Waltosaurus. We you like, like Waltosaurus. How about your old Notsosaurus? These aren't dinosaur bones. The Nashes! Preposterous, young man! Why, the dog would simply collapse like a moist towel without bones! Uh, not Nash's actual bones! His world-class collection! What kind of dinosaur wears a bow tie, anyway? <clears throat> Hands up all the qualified paleontologists present! Hmm? Anybody? I, I know my hand is up! No? No? That's what I thought! <laughs> I see what's going 
want to hear Dr. Paleo? Dennis is just peeved that he wasn't the one to make the archaeological find of the century. It was, in fact, for the record, me! Bravo, Walter! Oh, Jolly good! Bravo, Bravo Walter. Walter! These bones belong to science now. They are going on a round-the-world tour as soon as I have them assembled. And when will that be? Tomorrow! <laughs> what? And don't even think about any funny business, Dennis. The Waltosaurus will be the most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotel. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you the second most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. The T-Rex at the museum. If they want a dinosaur to take on tour, we will give them one. Nash, nash! Are you ready to make menacing history? Nasha! Let's make many history! Then phase two of Operation Bone Transplant begins. Meet tomorrow before school at the museum. <laughs> An actual dino! Curly! Pie face! Grab Nasha! <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. Need this one as is. Nash! Let's get this dinosaur mobile! <laughs> <laughs> Time to move this to the dig site before they ship out Nasha's collection from Bingo Town for good. <laughs> All right, let's get going. There. Ah, uh, nobody. What are you doing down there? Hmm? Oh, just helping out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you missed a bit, Nasha. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, I see. Oh well. <sighs> so, anyone got any idea how to assemble this thing? Beano Town, this is a proud day indeed. Beano Town's first ever dinosaur is about to go on a round the world tour. Do you think they'll notice the difference? <gasps> <gasps> what? <gasps> no! That's no Waltosaurus. Oh, my expert eye tells me these are not even dinosaur bones. <laughs> what do we do, Doctor? <laughs> Smile for the cameras, my boy. <laughs> Hello! Smile and hope nobody notices. But... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Beanotown, I give to you the Mutton Bovine Poultry Forum! Dad said the back garden was a bone-free zone, but he never said anything about the front garden. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Dad. This hole's earmarks for Nash's bones. Dennis! Hey? Eh? <laughs> Get me out of here! Looks like Dad's got a bone to pick with you, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I'm sorry to say, children, I have shocking news. Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Ah! My wonderful school! Gone for good! Uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Ah, oh, these are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. All if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's going to fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha, how often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector, but you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years, and that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school and all. <laughs> <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely going to fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What will happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're going to turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. Want a helping hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm. Maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! So this has been Old Town School. Ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> um, can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll sup to the demise of Beano Town School. Two teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. To my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, Fudge powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? Oh, oh. Goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. <laughs> Aha! Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. <laughs> Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... <laughs> Anarchy, headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the class. <laughs> Say that again. This is not looking good, headmaster. And that's... 
school bell is late. <laughs> Mr. Pencil? Mr. Pencil! <laughs> I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever! Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! <laughs> the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. No! Ah, life in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but who? It's impossible. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Not necessarily, Curly. <laughs> oh. We think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as... Toot toot! <laughs> right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr School Inspector, what if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Uh, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> All right. Here. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. We're excellent at archaeology, which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> <laughs> A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. Yes! 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 I'm impressed, but I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right, but our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure for myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> Ah, uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> squared is the right answer! Ha-ha! <laughs> You've done it, Nasha! <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. <laughs> Three little words. I will be back. Nasha did it! <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? <laughs> 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 Yeah.
Nash. <laughs> Way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day. Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies, but at my age, my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Uh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Ah! Get him. Uh -oh. Run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, 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 where'd he go? Uh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. Well, how can we beat Gran's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha. I know how we'll win Gran's trophy. <laughs> see what we have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder, <laughs> and you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. Time for a menace makeover. Oh, oh. oh hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog, Gummer. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, you brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me <my> pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognise me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No. I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Dennis. Beano hmm. hmm. Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Beano Town free of menaces? <coughs> oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... <coughs> made with red hot chilies. <coughs> <coughs> Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. <laughs> no, don't mention it. <laughs> hey, another two pranks done. Only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross the street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> I forgot I need to go to the shops. Oh, <laughs> oh was I on the way to Bingo? Oh, okay. 
Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Beryl first. Huh? After I've returned my library book. And resumed the audition. After that. <laughs> in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. <gasps> and look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> oh, I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. Suspect us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the print in this menu is far too small. Makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> Something. These old people are nearly as bad as Dennis. What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking Beano town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's get them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. Dennis <laughs> oh, the Menace! The one and only! <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Gran! Well, I've got to start setting a new record. Into 
water. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis! Oh. Hi, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> you. What's the emergency? Dennis, the worst thing ever. Actually, it's the worst thing ever, ever. In fact, the worst thing ever, 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 ever. Basically, it's pretty bad. Worst thing ever, 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 ever. Hang on, what's the word I'm looking for? Ever? Yeah, ever. They've cancelled the end of term trip to the adventure playground. What? And even worse, look what they've replaced it with. <laughs> A frog? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! Who would swap the adventure playground trip for a prom? They must be the most vile, evil, twisted person in the whole universe! Hey, boys. Looking forward to my prom. <laughs> Your prom? Your prom? Oh, you can thank me later. I told Daddy it was time we got rid of the boring old trip to the adventure playground. I mean, it's so immature. We're ten! Proms are for secondary school kids. We don't want a prom. Everyone wants a trip to the adventure playground. Yeah, they have balloons there. And ropes to swing on. They even have an ice rink now. We want a ice rink. Well, those are all very good points. But what you're forgetting is... <laughs> Toodles! My face, the emergency custard pie, if you would be so kind. It wasn't me for once. Ah, oh. In your face. No! Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dennis, I am getting it! Oh no! Dennis, Angel Face is going to. Whoa! What does that mean? It means we better put the brakes on her before she crashes. Come on! Noises, so she must be okay. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I won't get into trouble for this. <laughs> or maybe I will. But the skateboard was an accident. I don't care if it was an accident. Detention! Aww. Daddy? Oh, oh, yes, sweetie. Um, detention seems a bit harsh on poor Dennis. Oh, thanks, Angel Face. Maybe you could make it up to me by. Oh, I don't know. Helping me with the school prom. What? No! No, I'll take detention! Double detention! Triple detention! Wonderful idea, Angel Face. So, what does every super classy school prom need? It's not filled water pistols? No, silly. Something ten times as exciting. Paper chains. Lots and lots of them. And there's the paper for you to make them with. Oh, and a few balloons need blowing up. Get to work on those. I have a massive cake that needs icing. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, Dennis, having to work for Angel Face all day must be awful for him. The best school day ever! <laughs> what? No schoolwork! Just the whole day cutting stupid strips of paper and blowing up balloons. And it's going to keep being like this until the prom's over. This is going to be awesome! What are you lot talking about? The prom. Dennis reckons it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's a relief. If this prom goes well, we'll have one every end of term and not bother with the adventure playground ever again. <laughs> what? But, 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 can't stay in chat. I have a feeling that if I don't get these papers into my car quickly, then something will happen to them. <laughs> Dennis, you have to make sure.
sure that this prom doesn't work out, or we might lose the adventure playground trips forever. Hmm. Don't worry, Curly. Tomorrow, there's going to be some gold standard menacing. All right, Dennis. Let's see what... Huh? Ah, Ta-da! Right, Dennis. Clearly, you're not taking this seriously. So, if the students don't have a great time at the prom, you'll get nothing but Brenda's sprout peanut butter and marzipan stew for lunch for the rest of the year. Keep watching, Dennis. I want that floor shinier than Mayor Scrimp's wigless head. Hmm. Now, where, oh, where should I place this oh-so-wonderfully iced cake of mine? <laughs> I think the best place for it would be, uh... My mouth! Oh, please, it's not for you, Dennis. In fact, it's not for anyone. I spent far too long making it for anyone to eat it. Mm. Looks good there, doesn't it? Dennis, do you want Brenda's stew for a year? Ah! <laughs> Dennis is broken. Nasha? Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 thanks, Nasha. Oh, I'm exhausted. Angel Face was working me like crazy. She's gone too far, Dennis. She can't get away with doing all this. We have to make this prom a disaster. No, no! If this prom isn't brilliant, I'm getting sprout, peanut butter and marzipan stew every day for a year. But if it is brilliant, no more trips to the adventure playground. Oh, what are we going to do? Mm. Right, we only have two hours before the prom starts. You need to get the balloons and paper chains up now. Mm. <laughs> 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 right, let's get them up. Quick! Thanks for the help, Dennis. <gasps> oh. You put the decorations up? Yep. Well, Dennis, I suppose a thank you is in order. Well, come on then, thank me. Hmm, all right. How about a pat on the back? Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, by the way, I gave the floor a really good waxing. Oops! Suppose I better clean this up with water balloons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Put your feet up. Dennis? Remember what I told you? I do. And I did exactly what you asked. I made the prom great. What? See? They've got balloons. They've got ropes to swing on. They even got an ice rink. They didn't want a prom. They wanted the adventure playground. And I've given it to them. Look at them! They're happy! You're right, Dennis. Next end of term, we're back at the adventure playground. Yes! <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> In your face! Literally. <laughs> it's a grammatical joke. 